got to do with water. And, uh, and your brand philosophy here, perhaps you would like to comment. Yes, we tried to, when I was saying, and by the way, back to the, when I was called, I had this immense privilege of being called by the founders. They wanted me to be a group CEO. Why group CEO? Because they said, we will have a fixed company, a mobile company, and then a broadcasting uh, company, uh, and then you will be the group CEO. I said, why on earth you want me to start, you want us to start? And this was the first decision, bold decision. They had consultants, and I stand in front of the consultants. I asked the chairman to be there, and the chairman who really got it, he said, you're absolutely right. We will move into a different model, because I said, convergence is now the game. Like in TV, TV was built on, you know, you have, or, or the media industry, not TV. TV, you know better, I'm speaking under your control here. <laughs> no, no, please. TV, radio, yeah. outdoor, yeah. and uh, print. Yeah. Now no one speaks with the, you know, this, this digital age. So I said, we have to get it to the next phase. And this is what I said, mobility will allow you to carry much more, carry your bank. So how do you express it? We are adding life. And this was the campaign for a telecoms company. Quite amazing. Because it goes with the film. I don't know if you're... No, unfortunately, have, we were not able to, uh, to get have that. It, but, you uh, have asked me, rather than doing surprises like this, I would <laughs> have given you the film, you know. <laughs> Go straight, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> we did. And anyway, uh, the second uh, phase of the campaign was to be heard. Yes. Uh, which I thought was fascinating because... Uh, you actually were getting uh, market feedback and market research almost as an integral part of your brand values. Yes. And uh, well, I'm speaking, you should be on this side. Building I, a uh, mega brand today, do you want, I mean, if people are interested, can I give you an advice? Yes. You collect data on how, what your customers are using, etc., and you feed your, if you want my advice, I'm more and more convinced you need to know and to monitor what your users or other people are saying on social network about you. This is how your brand is going to live. Yeah. Consumers today don't want to hear from us, oh, I want you to use this and I'm selling you this. It's much more powerful when they hear it from their circle because on Facebook or people are tweeting, we tried it. This is now the new advisor. Right. your peers, and we need to build, uh, we need to build in our DNA now this new medium that is happening. And, uh, so be heard. Be heard. Give the power to people to let them try this. And, open and the your next heart. one was open your heart, which I thought was very interesting because uh, I, I guess through the telecom medium, you are communicating and connecting with your heart. So Absolutely. is that where it was, it was coming from? No, open your heart is because we say it's about people. You know, I, I love poetry. If you allow me, I one day used a quote when asked, what do you consider the ultimate format of communication? In a TV show yes. or in, a, in an interview. And I said, with your permission, I want to use one strophe of poetry and I will translate it. Ahmad Shawki saying, Translation, the language of words stopped and your eyes talk to my eyes in the language of passion. Right. If we forget this type of communication, which is the ultimate, if we forget a mother praying for the health of her son, or oh, if we forget when we all are in desperate moment and we have, this is ultimate form. Or a new this. child is born. And and we that, have yeah, to be, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. we have to be very humble in what we believe we can bring this. Things have not changed so much because there are certain things, things the beginning of humanity, they're still the same. We create different formats. And by the way, civilizations actually in communication it's not a coincidence that cities, civilization, have been born and grew along natural ways of communication between mankind. Why do we speak about the civilization along the Nile River or Dajla al-Furat or along the shores here, along the shores of ocean? 
because people could communicate, people could transport goods, yeah. or in the valleys, the Silk Road, uh, in the uh, valleys between mountains. Yes. Now there are new ways, new roads of communication, so there are new formats of civilization, but the essence is still the same. Human being will prevail. Brilliant. Um, and this is uh, tomorrow. This is the business plan. This is the business plan, and it's a nice segue because uh, one of the initiatives uh, that Do has uh, developed is called The Entrepreneur, and they actually have their final on TV today. today. Sure. Yes. I'm on TV today. You're on TV today. I love Can it. You imagine, this is, this is technology. It. You're in both, two places at one time. Uh, everybody thinks it's live, so, <laughs> so uh, And so this is, uh, this is, I see we had the intention of having a video, but unfortunately it didn't come through. But the, the idea of building this, this emotion, uh, and uh, Virgin is a, is a classic example, uh, Virgin, uh, by creating the brand. So are you building that vir mobile virtual network operator brand so that you can then export it to all of the countries rather than just getting stuck here? Uh, that's a strategic thing. I would love, but it needs to make sense from a uh, financial point of view. Understood. Because yeah. heart is, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, etc. we live in societies where uh, things are more driven by the uh, profitability. And there are interesting questions, and I'm sure, Professor, that uh, very, uh, when we speak about progress, is it GDP or well-being? Because sometimes there is a conflict between GDP and well-being. The recent example that we saw in uh, the crash, the crisis, show us sometimes that uh, economical driven matters are not necessary. So I think, I, I strongly believe and I feel very refreshed that capitalism will have to reinvent itself and etc. So uh, this is why, and it's good, it's good that things from time to time are going into this, you know, reshuffling uh, of, of, of things. Last couple of uh, strategic questions and we'll start talking about the future. Uh, I read your, uh, uh, your annual report, and uh, actually not the, your nine-month report, and it spoke about the future in terms of uh, operational efficiency. Yes. Some more business, better quality and value products, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, from where I sit, for you as a creative architect of the future of breakthroughs and so on, if I as a CEO saw operational efficiency, I would probably find that very boring. Uh, don't we want to talk about vision or mission or something? If we can trust <laughs> the guys here, I do find it boring. <laughs> but I have to. No, no, no. On a serious tone, I have a mandate to my shareholders. Which I totally and understand I and respect. It. But, I, yeah. but I'll give another twist. Yeah. I'll give another twist. Operational efficiency doesn't necessarily mean I am doing this process and it cost me 10, I need to make it cost me nine and then eight and then seven. It's thinking the entire process. In this digital space, do I need the process or is there a way for me to do it differently? And then, if I say, okay, this customer is asked to, when he wants to do something at the shop and it's complicated, is there a way by simplifying the life of this person, radically simplifying it, between online and between different processes, I gain efficiency. That become the very exciting part. If it's only crunching numbers. Yes, I understand that, yeah. I did it, I did it, I, I did budgets and I'm standing in front of boards and defend the budget this for the last, you know, since 94 until now, count, yeah. where I was in charge of, so, so that's not the, of course, that's not the fun. Now, with this digitization, moving, people see digitization, a lot of CEOs, oh, we need to be digital, everybody is talking, probably because you go home, you, you see your kids, I need to go digital, let's have a Facebook page, let's have some, it has to become, bring it to the DNA of the company. And you know, it's not me who will, will bring it in the DNA of the company. I have, uh, a couple of young Emirati people, the, uh, the girl got a prize of being the best young, uh, on, young person on social media. 
She can bring the ideas. She has brilliant things. We need to get these people, empower them, make them transform from inside when moving. To, then the customer experience will be a different ballgame. So this is what I'm saying. When that, the efficiency part, it's not only the factory. It's see, looking at the factory and thinking, do I need this entire factory? Or can, it, can I make it simpler? Changing it completely. Not ensuring that this is producing 10 in one day, how can it produce 12? Or this has cost me 10, how can it cost eight? Yeah. So this is the, 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 the spirit of it. So if you look at uh, 2020 uh, as a vision for do, um, you don't have R&D in your company. You're dependent on Qualcomm and other suppliers to bring in new technologies. Um, so you're not creating that. So where is the, R &D how are you is insulating yourself and making yourself bulletproof? Yes. People. Okay. So your talent. If you prepare the right, again, people, people, people.